Hi, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today's coaching video is going to be dealing with unsupportive people, okay? So it can be difficult to cope. And you might feel isolated, alone, or misunderstood. You might feel confused, frustrated, or even angry. Your confidence may not have been knocked down. I'm sorry, your confidence might have been knocked down. No matter what you're facing right now or how you're feeling, here are 23 things that, or 23 facts to support you and to uplift you. So when people are unsupportive towards you, this is what I need you to remember. Number one, not everyone is going to like you and it has nothing to do with you or your likability. If there are people that don't like you, sweetie, it has nothing. Well, let me not say that because sometimes it does. But for the most part, it has nothing to do with you or your likability. It's that individual. They probably just don't like anybody. Truth be told, they probably don't even like themselves, okay? Number two, the world is not designed for us to have seven plus billion friends and seven plus billion supporters. It's just not. Would it be nice if we had tons of friends and supporters? Yes, but that's just not the way that life is, is designed to be, okay? And it's all right. Number three, your job is, is most definitely not your, your place I'm so yeah, your job is most definitely not to please everyone or to be understood by everyone. So if you think that your job is to please everybody or to be understood by everybody, honey, you need to think again because that is not your job at all, okay? It's just not going to happen. It really is not. Number four, it is natural to want to be understood and liked, but that is not a want, <coughs> excuse me, not an inherent need. The sooner you distinguish this and let go, the sooner you'll find peace within and power for your path forward. Number five, you must live your life for you. Did you, did you hear what I said? You must live your life for you. I must live my life for me, not for other people. Please keep this in mind and don't you ever forget that. And I mean it, don't you ever forget that. You live your life for you. Stop living your life for other people. Number six, sometimes the unsupportive people who don't get you are your family and your friends. And as you have to go outside your normal networks to find like-minded people who will support you in ways your family and friends just cannot. Okay, sometimes they just cannot. It doesn't make your family wrong. It doesn't make your friends wrong. It doesn't make you right. It just means that you're different and people in our people are in our lives for seasons, reasons, and a lifetime. Each person in your life brings something different, be it skills, capacities, and paths. They each have a contribution to make to you and vice versa. Some people are simply not equipped to be supportive of you for the path that you're walking. This is a painful fact to hear from many people, but the good news is that the universe is always puts people in your life to support you. Number seven, never ask of anyone more than they can give. Okay, sometimes you have to realize that people have a perspective and experience of life that is very different from yours. And, and it's different from mine, too, because of how they were raised. It has nothing to do with you. It's just how they were raised. And that will influence how they love, support and advise others. They only know what they know, period, point blank. And you may need to, you may need more than what they can give you. And, and it's, that's, that's just it. You may need more than what they can give you. So if you're they're not able to give you what you need, honey, you got to let that go and keep it moving. Number eight, your experience is, to, is best spent on fully and unapologetically expressing who you are without a concern for whether people understand you or not or expanding your energy on pleasing others. Why? Because when you express yourself fully and without concern, you will attract the people who align to your values. And as a result, form a network, a, uh, a new network of inspiring, supportive, and understanding people in your life. Number nine, often you have to be willing to walk away. From the unsupportive people who don't get you in order to make room in your life for the people that you need to show up. And I know sometimes this is going to be very hard. You're going to say, but Michelle, they're family. But I've known them all my life since kindergarten. Okay. You, you very well, they very well may have. And you very well may have. But if they're not getting you, honey, you've got to let them go. 
okay? Number 10, your job in life is never to convince or persuade anyone of your worth and value. Your worth and your value are inherent. Nothing you do or say or don't do or say or, or want or what anyone else says or believes is going to change that, period, point blank. So instead of convincing or persuading anyone of your worth, rather simply know your worth and live from it as a statement to the world. Number 11, if someone doesn't understand you, that doesn't mean they don't respect you. You can observe people in this world yourself that you really don't get. And you you know it. You know it and I know it. You don't understand how they think, how they operate, or how it is that they do what they do. And yet, at the very same time, it is entirely possible to still see their beauty, their individuality, their uniqueness, and the gifts that they possess. possess. Number 12, you never have to apologize for who you are to anybody. Let me say that again. You never have to apologize for who you are to anybody, not to me, not to anybody. You may do things that aren't ideal. You may make mistakes. You you may express yourself in less than op optimal ways. If your emotions get the better of you, that's called being human. You can make amends if you've caused someone pain, but you never apologize for the heart of who you are. Do you hear what I'm saying? You never apologize for the heart of who you are because I'm not going to do it for who I am. There is a big difference. Number 13, being crazy, weird, different, outrageous, a dreamer, a believer, a trailblazer, or an oddity is to be celebrated. Yes, it's different, but we should celebrate all of those things in other people just like they should celebrate all of those things in us. And heck, it's celebrated in yourself. Number 14, when it comes to making heart-led decisions to follow your own goals and dreams, be, be those personal or professional, be those small or big, you do not need to justify or explain those decisions to anybody. Stop feeling like you have to because you don't. It is your soul speaking to you. And, and, and it guides you into your purpose, into life. Intuition is just as val valid and real as logic. Number 15, when following your dreams, there will be people in your support network who will give you advice and offer help. They will do so out of their love for you. Some of it will be in invaluable. Some of it will be completely misguided and, <laughs> and have the power to sabotage you. It most likely will come from the people who might get you personally, but don't get what you're doing or why you are doing it. They may not understand that you are led by your inner voice. They will want to protect you from yourself, from making mistakes, and from suffering unnecessary failure. Their own scenario planning of all of the what-ifs that, that could occur as you step out bravely into your life. Their love for you is what lies behind this advice, but what also lies behind this advice, this advice is their own fear. A lot of times when, when people, and they care about you, they love you dearly, but their own fears are leading them, and so that fearful advice that, that's in their ear, they're, they're trying to give it to you, so you need to pray about it. Anytime somebody gives you advice, it doesn't matter if I give you advice. I need you to pray about it always, okay? Number 16, don't try to change people, okay? It's an individual, it's, it's, it is each individual person's decision and responsibility to whether they evolve, whether they show love and compassion, whether they listen and support. You cannot force that upon people. Do you hear what I'm saying? You cannot make people do any of this kind of stuff. You can't make them show compassion. You can't make them show love. You can't make them do, you cannot try to change people. People are going to be who they're going to be. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Number 17, the way you can best be of service to yourself, the world, and those who don't understand you is to simply carry on your path with your, with your head held high, not wavering in the face of, of challenges, opposition, questions, and pain. Be a conqueror. Be a pioneer. Be a leader of your own life. Whoever comes with you on that journey is meant to be. Whoever does not, they weren't meant to be there. So don't let that stress you. Honey, you just get out there and do what, what was meant for you to be, what, what was meant for you. The primary reason you want people to understand you is because you want reassurance that who you are is okay. 
That's deep right there. Let me say that one more time. The primary reason that you want people to understand you is because you want reassurance that who you are is okay. That what you want to do is the right thing and you want people try to try uh, to trumpet that that support around you to make you feel more secure and sure on your path. You may want this and most people do, but don't mistake want for need. Okay, don't mistake want for need. You do not need that. You may want all of that things. You, you, you may want people to pat you on the back and say, way to go. This is great. You're doing a great job, but you don't need it. I don't need it. We don't need it. Okay, you can forge a path of truth, passion, purpose, creativity, abundance, and excitement and live your full life and achieve your greatest potential and contribution into this world and not have one single person support you while you do so. Did y'all hear what I said? You can do everything you want to do in life and you may not have anybody supporting you and that's all right. You've got to know in here and up here that that's the thing that you've been called to do. Number 19, never second guess yourself. Stay anchored in what you know is real. Write it down and come back to it whenever you feel shaky, okay? Number 20, everyone will have an opinion. You know, op opinions are just like uh, your the backside that you sit on. We all have one, okay? And many people will try to force you to live in alignment with their opinions. Opinions are aligned to beliefs. Everyone believes something different. You will never satisfy everyone nor align to everyone's beliefs and their view of the world and who they think you should be. Did you hear what I said? Who they think you should be, okay? And none of that matters. You were born to meet your soul's purpose and that's it. You don't have to sit and worry about big mom and them think about what your life should be you do what, what you know is best for you, okay? And you can still love them, but you're just not going to always be in alignment with what they think. 21, take the emotional pain of not being understood by unsupported people and use it as fuel for your mission to live in alignment with your truth and to create the goals and dreams that are most meaningful to you. Show yourself you can do it no matter what. what no matter what anyone else says, Add the pain to your sense of purpose and let that co combined energy push you forward. Okay? Number 22. Do not be afraid of your own power. You have the heart and the courage of a lion. Did you hear what I said? You have the heart and the courage of a lion, honey. You have it, I have it, we have it. So do not be afraid of your own power. You may simply not be used to using it. See, the thing is, is it's in here. It's it, it's all up in here. It's it's up here. But if you're not used to using it, when you have to call on the on that power, you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what what, what was that? I, I don't know what that was. It's been there all the time. Or you're saying, God, where did that come from? It's been there all the time. You're just not used to using it. Mm. But I would suggest you reach down there and use it whenever you need to. And number twenty three, no matter how many unsupported people there are in your life right now. Yeah, I need y'all to listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully. No matter how many unsupportive people there are in your life right now, I'm talking about right this moment as you're listening to this video and listen, watching me right now, okay? Remember, there is only one voice to truly listen to. Mm. And that voice lies within you. That's it. That's the only voice that you need to listen to. See, because there are times when I want to do things, and, and so I have somebody else in my ear here, and that voice within is here. I cancel that voice out, because all I need to know is what is the voice within Michelle saying. For me, that, that's the voice of God. That's how God speaks to me. I don't know how he speaks to you, but, but, but God speaks to me. And that's the voice that I'm that I really need to listen to because everybody else is going to tell you something different. Okay, let me do a quick recap, and I promise I'm gonna let you be. So today we talked about dealing with unsupportive people, and I gave you 23 facts to support and uplift you. Number one, I said not everyone is going to like you, and it has nothing to do with you or your likability. Number two, the world is not designed for us to have seven plus billion friends and supporters. It just isn't. You may only have one. You may have none. So it is what it is. Number three, your job is most definitely not to please everybody. 
or to be understood by everybody. So stop thinking that it is. Number five, it's natural to want to be, un and notice I said want to be understood and liked, but that is, that is a want, not an inherent need, okay? Number five, you must live your life for you. Did y'all hear what I said? You must live your life for you. Stop trying to live your life for your aunties and your uncles. Stop living, trying to live your life for grandma and grandpa and your cousins. You've got to do that for you. Number six, sometimes the unsupported people who don't get you are your family and your friends. It's not always the strangers in the streets. Sometimes it will be those in your inner, that, that you call family. Number seven, never, never ask of someone more than they can give you. I can't stress that enough. We've got to stop asking people to give us what they what, what they just cannot give us. If you're in a relationship with someone and you're asking that person to just love you unconditionally and you know that you're asking them to give you more than what they can do, stop doing that. You need to cut that off because they're, they're not able to give you. And everybody can. Everybody cannot. So stop asking people to give you what they really can Number eight, your energy is best spent on fully and apologetically expressing who you are without concern for whether or not people understand you and, and all that good stuff. You, you, you just you can. Number nine, oftentimes you will have to be willing to walk away from unsupportive people mm, in order to make room in your life for the people that need to show up. Okay. Number ten, your job in life is to is never to convince or persuade anyone of your worth or your value. You should never have to do that. If they don't see your worth and your value, honey, let them go. It's not your job to persuade them. Number 11, even if someone doesn't understand you, that doesn't mean they don't respect you. They just don't understand you. Number 12, you never have to apologize for who you are to anybody. And I mean anybody. Never apologize for who you are to anybody. You are who you are. Number 13, being crazy, weird, different, outrageous, a dream or believe or trailblazer or an oddity is to be celebrated, okay? Number 14, when it comes to making heart-led decisions to follow your goals and your dreams, be those personal professional, be those big or small. You do not need to justify or explain those decisions to anybody, period. Number 15, when following your dreams, there will be people in your support network who, give you who will give you advice and offer help. And they will do so out of their love for you. And and some of it will be valuable, some of it will not be. Okay? And so you just have to understand that sometimes their fears come out when they're giving you advice. Number 16, don't try to change people. Please stop doing that. They, th that Those people have to want to change. You cannot change a soul. Number 17, the way you can best be of service to yourself, the world, and those who, you, who don't understand you is to simply carry your path with your head held high, not wavering in the face of changes, opposition questions, and or pain. Number 18, the primary reason you want people to understand you is because you want reassurance that who you are is okay. And who you are is okay. It's all right if your family and friends don't understand you. It's not their problem. It's not your problem. But it is okay. Number 19, never second guess yourself. Y'all stop doing that. Stay anchored in what you know is real. Write it down and come back to it whenever you feel shaky. Number 20, everyone will have an opinion and many people will try to force you to live in alignment with their opinions. Don't do that. Live in alignment with your opinion. Your opinions may not be the same as mine. Mine may, may not be the same as yours, and it's all right. Number 21, take the emotional pain of not being understood by unsupported people and use it as fuel for your mission to live in alignment with your truth and to create the goals and dreams that are most meaningful to you. Number 22, do not be afraid to own your power, okay? You have the heart and the, you have the heart and courage of a lion. You just don't use it often enough. So when it comes out, whoo, it can be a little scary sometimes. <laughs> and number 23, no matter how many unsupported people there are in your life right now, remember there's only one voice to truly listen to. And that is the voice that lies within you. Well, the voice that lies within Michelle, that's the voice of God that speaks to me. So that's the only voice that I have to worry about. Okay, and that's the only voice that you should worry about because if not, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to have a ton of voices hitting you from all over the place, front to back, everywhere, and you will become overwhelmed 
And next thing you know, you have a nervous breakdown, all that other good stuff. Just listen to that one inner voice. That's all you need. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers because it really pleases my heart when I wake up and I see I have emails saying that I have new subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me at all that I do. I cannot encourage you enough, you guys. When I, and, I, and, I, and I really mean this from the heart, that you've got to learn to deal with unsupported people because they're going to be everywhere. They're going to be on your job. They're going to be in your family. They're going to be in your circle of influence. Sometimes they are. Okay? They're going to be in your church. But you have to know how to deal with them. So I know how to put on my best smile and go, really? Hmm. You don't say. Okay. But inside my head, I'm thinking to myself, honey, they need to go on some day with because I'm not hearing all that foolishness. I already know what it is that I need to do for me. You can share your, your thoughts and ideas if you like. If it's something good, I'll run with it. If it's not, I won't. But I'm confident in me, and I need you all to be confident in you. Until next time, take care.